Do not forget to subscribe, guys. Can somebody explain to me who in the hell is this old ass man by the name of Shelley Finkel? Because this man seems to be a major playing uh, factor when it comes to anything that has to do with Deontay Wilder, his decisions, and his career. Because I don't know if you guys noticed, but no matter what happens in Deontay Wilder's career, Shelly Finkel is always there. He's always involved. Every piece, every article I come across, it's always, you know, like the, the, the third line is always, and his blah, 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 Shelly Finkel said this, Shelly Finkel said that. Shelly Finkel did this. Shelly Finkel did that. Whenever they interview Deontay Wilder, you know, the camera's focusing on Wilder. Then the cameraman tends to, you know, start moving to his right and lowered and behold, you see Shelly Finkel standing about a foot and a, and a half away from Deontay Wilder, staring and listening to everything that the, that the interviewer is asking Deontay Wilder as if he is Deontay Wilder's lawyer or something. <laughs> you know, attorney, because he's just there listening to everything. <laughs> Whenever they phone call, you know, Deontay Wilder on the phone, and Wilder's talking on the phone, uh, you always hear him say, "Let me get Shelly Finkel on 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 the, on the dial. Let me get Shelly Finkel. Hold on, I could get Shelly Finkel right now." It's like Shelly Finkel seems to almost have full control of Deontay Wilder's life and his decision making and. Whatever happens to Deontay Wilder's career cannot happen unless Shelly Finkel approves of it. <laughs> because it's like, it's not even a joke. Like, you cannot see Deontay Wilder without Shelly Finkel. This man is by his side on a daily basis. I mean, last night when he went to, you know, Belfast, you saw Shelly Finkel sitting about an inch away from Wilder. You know, you look at all the, uh, every time he has a post fight, you see Shelly Finkel right there. You know, Deontay Wilder, if Deontay Wilder decides to get married tomorrow, he would have to call and ask Shelly Finkel for approval. Um, and you know what I find odd about this is I never heard of Shelly Finkel before this whole Deontay Wilder versus Anthony Joshua fight came about. Because, you know, before this whole Deontay Wilder, uh, Anthony Joshua fight came to, you know, people started talking about it. It was always only like Jay Diaz, Al Heyman, uh, those you know, even Louis DeBella. Those are the people that seem to have a major uh, decision making when it comes to Deontay Wilder's career. Then, ever since this whole you know big fight talk between Joshua and Wilder started happening, all of a sudden, every article I I came across is just talking about Shelly Finkel, Shelly Finkel, Shelly Finkel. You know. What's going to happen when Shelly Finkel dies? Because, you know, the man looks like he's about 97 years old. So, what's going to happen when he dies? Uh, how is Deontay Wilder gonna, going, going to be able to proceed in his career? How will he make the tough decisions of who he should fight, who he should trust? Because Shelly Finkel won't be there to advise him on what he's doing. And just to... You know, I saw a picture of Shelly Finkel with Mike Tyson when Mike Tyson was young, like when he was in his prime, right? Now, back then, Shelly Finkel already looked like he was about 60 plus years old. So that just lets you know how old this man is because, you know, Mike Tyson was in his prime in the 80s. So even in the 80s, Shelly Finkel looked like he was about 65 years old. So, like I said, the guy's closing in on 100 years old. Uh, I do not know why he's of such importance. You know, he seems to be like... It's like if Shelly Finkel doesn't approve of the offer that Eddie Hearn is offering him, the fight doesn't get made. And everything that Deontay Wilder does involved in this fight, he always has. To, he always says, let me ask Shelly Finkel. I'm not going here without Shelly Finkel. Like, you know what I find funny? Because, you know, when it comes to, like, the LDBC, uh, the LDBC members, I remember about... I think it was either last year or the year before that, but it was not uh, that long ago. I remember seeing some of the LDBC uh, members insinuating that Eddie Hearn is a uh, 
Deon, no, Eddie Heron is Anthony Joshua's slave owner. Like, they would insinuate that Anthony Joshua is, you know, controlled by Eddie Hearn. He was his quote-unquote slave. Some some LDBC members even straight up said it, like, like on their videos. They'll be like, Eddie Hearn is, you know, Anthony Joshua is Eddie Hearn's slave. And I find it odd that they say that because then here they go defending Deontay Wilder, defending Shelly Finkel, yet you're calling, you're saying that Anthony Joshua is a slave to Eddie Hearn. I'm not saying that. That's what the, some of these dudes actually said. At the Anthony, you're going around saying that AJ is a slave to Eddie Hearn, yet Deontay Wilder can't do anything without getting permission from Shelly Finkel. And just like Eddie Hearn, Shelly Finkel is a you know white man, right? So what does that make? If you're going to go around saying that Anthony Joshua is a somehow a slave because Eddie Hearn is a white guy and he is the promoter of Joshua then shouldn't you say the same about Shelly Finkel since Deontay Wilder can't seem to do anything in his career without talking to Shelly Finkel and getting his approval on it so again I don't know who this 97 year old man is uh, but can someone just explain to me why is this guy of such an importance like this guy seems to be it's like he's like the Al Heyman that people could see. Because, <laughs> you know, when he came to Al Heyman for the longest time, he was considered like the guy who was a very important figure in the world of boxing. But he was like an invisible, important figure because you never saw him. You never saw uh, Al Heyman. He was always behind the scenes. But you heard of him, right? You always heard of Al Heyman. You heard of him, but you never actually saw him. Uh, it, Shelly Finkel seems to be like this, a version of Al Heyman, but... A version of Al Heyman that you could see and that you know he talks and in interviews and stuff like that but yeah like why is this guy of such importance to uh, Deontay Walter's career that's all I want to know